what's going on, Chris family? Today, we're going to be talking about today's um, Follow Me. Now, these aren't my actual videos. I'm just doing these as a little bit of side videos because I have a special video coming up that has... It's a, it's a lot of work. Um, so, today's Come Follow Me is the Book of Mormon contains the fullness of the everlasting gospel. So, a lot of religions have stuff that the Church of Jesus Christ, a lot of days, they believe, so we believe it. But, some of it's pretty false. And, also, we have the Book of Mormon. And it has the full everlasting gospel, and we believe it does. But I don't believe, I know, because I've prayed about it. You all should, too. Okay, so this is what we know. And so here's how it went. So Joseph Smith went to a place that we call the Sacred Grove because he was feeling unsure about his religion so he went there and prayed and this was be and this was after the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints went down and so he went there and prayed and just was like what what religion am i is, am i in the right religion and then a couple of seconds after darkness consumed him and he was just stuck in a dark void about to let his spirit go from life but then a pillar of light hovered over him, and then all the darkness was gone. There's two heavenly beings, and one of them pointed to the other and said, This is my beloved son. Hear him. And he basically said, None of them are right, and they just all have false. They're all false. And then so Moroni was unstable after the vision and after a while his legs started working again so he walked back home it was like only a couple of minutes but still <clears throat> he walked back home and then he waited for a while not even just for a while a long time kind of and uh he um i was gonna say something oh yeah now i was when I said, um, Joseph walked home, I'm, um, when I said Moran, I walked home, I meant Joseph, because it's Joseph Smith. Alright, alright, so he waited a little bit, and then Moran I came to him and told him about these brass plates that were under a rock. And he went there, he found the rock, he got the brass plates. There's one last problem. They were written in, in a foreign language. Not English. Okay, so what he did was... He, uh... He basically just... He translated it. It took a while, but he did it. And so then he became the first prophet of the Restoration. Catch y'all in the next one.